Ducky, aka Dr. Donald Mallard, has been a part of the NCIS family since the show's conception. For the longest time, he was the most integral part of the show. In this video, we're going to talk about Ducky Mallard's character and why the actor who plays Ducky keeps trying to leave the show. Stick around for some answers and a lot more. First, David McCallum's thoughts on Ducky leaving the show. The multi-talented Scottish gem, David McCallum, has played the role of medical examiner Ducky Mallard alongside Mark Harmon's Leroy Jethro Gibbs on CBS's NCIS since 2003. That was nearly 12 years ago. That was nearly 20 years ago. 20 years is a very, very long time to be doing one thing. Wouldn't you agree? The series NCIS is about to reach its 20th season milestone, which is a lot longer than most other shows. David has provided fans of the show and of his character with an explanation as to why they've been seeing way less of their beloved Ducky. At this point, David feels like Dr. Ducky Mallard has started to become redundant in the show. He believes that Ducky's presence on the show will have as much of an impact on the story as his absence would. Ducky stepped down from his role as the chief medical examiner as part of a subplot during season 16's episode Silent Service. Since then, his assistant, Jimmy Palmer, played by Zadie Brian Dietzen, has stepped into the role. It makes a whole lot of sense why David feels like his character is no longer impactful as it used to be. And honestly, David would rather spend more time with family. During season 15 of the series, David seemed eager to leave the show. He expressed that he wanted to spend more time with his family, sit back, and relax. He wanted to be around his six grandchildren, bond with all of his kids, and showering his loving wife Catherine with some love and appreciation. He even shared that he missed his cat, Nikki. Born September 19th, 1933, David is currently 88 years old. He first became a popular name in American households back in the 60s when he started playing the role of secret agent Ilya Kuryakin in the TV show The Man From Uncle. This was back when he was in his youthful 30s, and the fact remains, he'd rather spend the time he has on this earth with the people he loves most, his family. Also, again, 20 years is a very long time to be one guy. Now, on to the dreaded question. Will Ducky ever return to NCIS in full capacity? The answer is a simple no. Or did you not hear anything about him wanting to spend time with his family and not feeling as youthful as he once was? It is highly unlikely for Ducky to increase appearances on the show at this point in time. After Mark Harmon's exit from the show, each and every cast member must have gotten hit with the realization that this gig was anything but permanent. So for now, it seems as though Ducky will make appearances every now and again until the point it stops making sense to McCallum to be Ducky any longer. We're certain though that when the day actually comes, and it is time for Ducky to say his final goodbye to the show, it will be a remarkable thing, an event to remember. We also just know that Gibbs is going to make an appearance to say farewell to his old friend. The history between the two men has come a long way, and it would only make sense for the writers to give Ducky the legacy he deserves. They did the same for Gibbs, so it makes absolute sense to give Dr. Mallard a perfect exit. Up next, David's decision to stay on NCIS as a historian. We all know that once Ducky retired from his position as the chief medical examiner, he ended up taking on the role of a historian. In the episode, while Ducky was more than ready for retirement, the rest of the team struggled with the idea and wanted to keep him around without making him give up his dream of living a peaceful, retired life. The solution was to make Ducky a historian for the agency so that he can ensure that the collective knowledge of their institution lives on for generations to come. This way, Ducky would be able to show up to work as he pleased and still get to meet his friends and co-workers occasionally. The reality of it all is quite similar to the plot of keeping Ducky around. David started making plans to exit the show, and in hopes of still keeping him connected with the show, the show's producers and showrunner Stephen Binder presented him with the idea to make Ducky a recurring character instead. David felt really honored since it meant that CBS loved having him around, and so he said yes. It's okay though, we get that it's hard to say goodbye. NCIS fans had been used to seeing Ducky Mallard since the beginning of the show. With the kind of cult following that the series has, it makes sense why it would feel overwhelming to have two of the core characters leave for good. When it comes to wanting to keep our favorite characters around, it feels like we could watch them forever. But there's only so much farther a character's story can go before it starts to feel forced. That's the biggest issue with long-running series with a certain number of characters 
characters people get to fall in love with, we want to keep them around forever because it can really be hard to say goodbye. But at the same time, if you really think about it, it makes sense why it's appropriate for a character to move on and have their story reach a conclusion after a while. And imagine what it must be like from the actor's perspective. The fact that Mark Harmon and David both felt the need to hang up their hats almost 20 years into doing the same gig should make sense. As hard as it is for us to say goodbye to the old, reliable Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard, it's also appropriate for his story to reach a satisfactory conclusion. But we might get to see more of Ducky in a different capacity. David talked about how Stephen Binder came up with the idea of having Ducky's younger self tell the story about Ducky as a young man. Portrayed by the devilishly handsome Adam Campbell, young Ducky first appeared on the show during season 12. In an episode titled So It Goes, Ducky recalls his past life and the decisions he's made as a young man, which influenced the rest of his adult life. Campbell returned to resume the role again in the show's 400th episode titled Everything Starts Somewhere. The episode also had a younger version of Gibbs, and the part was played by none other than Sean Harmon, Mark's real son. The episode told the tale of how Gibbs and Ducky first met, and fans fell in love with the chemistry between Sean and Adam. What we're saying is that even though things are changing with Gibbs being gone and Ducky appearing only occasionally, there's a possibility for the characters to return as their younger selves to tell more stories about the past of this iconic duo. And now, what to expect from NCIS Season 20. First up, possibly more Ducky. After all is said and done, showrunner Steven has opened up about how he plans on utilizing the character of Ducky in a different, more effective capacity in the upcoming season. Ducky's going to get the same amount of screen time, or possibly more, as Steven shared. When David talked about how he believes CBS loves him, he wasn't wrong. Steven himself has told David that he's like magic pixie dust. His presence always elevates any scene he's a part of, and he's loved by literally everyone. By utilizing the character more effectively, Steven means that he's aware fans can tell the difference between David, just being there, as one of the stars, versus when there's actually a story to be told about him. And the latter are the types of episodes that work really well. We're glad to hear that because it'll certainly help David get rid of that feeling of Ducky being redundant. What's next? Dark Taurus. You might have heard about this one already, but Wilmer Valderrama might soon get to play a much darker version of Taurus in Season 20. Steven did say, however, that we're planning to do it in a way that doesn't turn our beloved agent into a total villain. Apparently, there will be a method to his madness, so we'll be getting a darker Taurus. Hopefully without them changing everything that we love about our sexy Latino agent, we're just really excited to have more Taurus-centric stories in Season 20. Last, but not the least, NCIS takes the pride route. In the last season, we learned about Diona Rizadover's character Cassie's sexual orientation. She's the show's first official queer character, and we're gonna be diving deeper into her story in the upcoming season. She's getting a new love interest, and possibly more. Steven says that he wants to do something different and fun with Cassie's character. He pointed out that Cassie hasn't really had any representation, wink wink, unlike the former chief forensic scientist, Abby. And all of that is about to change. Season 20 will give more characters a chance to shine, and we're excited to know that Cassie is definitely one of them. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.